All right, gang, back at it here, uh, Tuesday the 29th, I believe, and we're doing some wiring. So what we did up top was we just made sure everything was the right length so we can clip to the MC4 connectors, and we're going to start running it through the conduit. And guess what? Two of the lines I cut too short. I have butt connectors. I'm going to butt connect them together because I do have enough because two of them are way too long, and I'll make it right with the butt connectors, make it the right length. Put it into the conduit and get it into the shed. Um, I did take a number four wire and connect it to the positive of the bus bar, of the breaker bar, I guess, in the connector box. Um, then I couldn't use a number four because for some reason this doesn't accept a number four. And also the Bendai Classic 200 that said that it could accept a number four uh, doesn't appear that it can. So I use number eight wire, which is the same wire that we're that the pre-wire, the, the load center, the GSLC load center comes with uh, number eight. So I'm assuming number eight is A-OK. -okay. Uh, unfortunately, I bought four, but I had eight left over from the off-grid dilly. And I went ahead and I wired up this. Now, the I think this is the photovoltaic one coming over from the load center into the charge controller. The wire's not long enough. And this is supposed to come with brackets, mounting brackets that mount to the side of the load center, but I didn't get mine, so I called. They said they'd have to check and call me back because they didn't know if it was a separate line item or if it was supposed to come with one of these pieces and it just didn't. And I said, you know, I can't imagine that it didn't come with it because the pre-wired load center that I bought from you all, you guys cut just enough wire for it to fit with that part. So if it didn't come with it, somebody should have told me and I would have ordered it. So we'll see. Um, anyway, so I got to wait on that. I could just take the number eight wire that I have, the extra wire, and make a new one of these, but I don't have one of these um, terminal connectors, the lug, lug connectors. So I don't have a number eight that I can use. I guess I could try to reuse that, but I don't know. I just don't want to ruin it. So I'm going to wait to hear back from them and then proceed from there. So I also wired some of the different pieces up in here. And big thanks to Tim from World Without Rule of Law. He did some research for me. and We had a nice phone conversation today. And it really helped just walking through it with somebody that knows about at least the AC side of electricity and somebody that researched this and just walked me through it while I was looking at it. And it started to make sense to me. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do that. And between the two of us, um, I think we were able to figure out quite a bit of this. Now, there's still some questions as to exactly what's going to go where on the AC side, but we'll get to that. I wired in the lightning arrestor. Wow, I just got lightheaded standing up there, guys. <sighs> Give me a second. <sighs> Everything goes dark. Um, so I did wire up the lightning arrestor, and I think we did that right. We went green to neutral. We went red up to the bus bar. I keep calling it a bus bar. Um, I guess it's the breaker bar. And then I went black to the PV negative, which is what the instructions told me to do. So that's what I did. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and, and, and you can tell I don't have the proper conduit for all this. And I think I'm going to go back through afterwards and put some flex tube conduit stuff over there just to uh, pretty it up a little bit and secure it so I don't eventually, you know, somehow scrape the wires. Although this ain't going anywhere. It's going to be stationary, but you get what I'm saying. Um, so I'm going to run the positives in and connect in here. It's funny. One of the diagrams said I have to go up top and go in there. One of the diagrams said go in the bottom. The bottom makes more sense, so it, unless, unless somebody tells me otherwise, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to run all the PV negatives into this bus bar over here. And then I'm going to connect all the MC4s up top to the uh, solar panels, and then I'll have power to this box. And the power is going to come down into the GL, GL, uh, GSLC load center. I'm sorry, guys, I'm a little out of it. Uh, a lot on my mind when I'm dealing with this. And then it's going to go back into the charge controller. And then I have to wire up the battery. And it looks like the positive, um, how did we do this, guys? I'm going to have to go back through. I think the positive is right here, I think, on that shunt. And the negative is going to go right in there, and I don't know that you can see that. DC negative. I think that's the way that's got to go. Then we'll have the battery hooked up. And then at that point, my solar 
array will be charging my battery, but it will not, still uh, won't be producing power that I can use in the house because I got to get this sucker all connected and connected to a sub panel, and that's a whole nother ball of wax. So, all in due time, um, I estimate that I have a, another day or two worth of work once I have the supplies to get this all wired up, at least on the DC side. And then we got some work on the AC side. So I'll keep reporting you guys. I hope uh, this is interesting to some of y'all. And more importantly, I hope that this is informative on some level. Again, guys, I've never done this before. I've just done my off-grid solar cabin, smaller system, way simpler. And I feel way more comfortable with that than I do with this. This is expensive gear. And one mistake, I can fry it all and screw myself up pretty bad. And I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to take it slow. I'm trying to get advice along the way. I did try to hire people, but they were either too expensive or they just said, uh, this is too complicated for me. So here's where I'm at, guys. I'm, uh, I am getting some help from some of you guys, and I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. But like I was saying, I, I really do hope that this helps some of you guys that are looking at installing a similar system or any type of system. You know, you don't, this can be super intimidating, and it is, when you're dealing with a grid tie or a hybrid system. The off-grid stuff is not nearly as intimidating, and I'm happy to help walk people through that. Uh, if they're looking to just do a small off-grid system, I think I can get you through there and do it on the relatively, I don't want to say cheap, but in, inexpensive. All right, stay tuned. Um, I'm looking forward to the day that we get this thing finished, wired up and we turn this sucker on and start really using solar power. That'll be awesome. Because my latest bill from the power company for August was $195. Yikes. Got to get that down. Oh.